This backpack right here represents one of the most unexpected tech adventures that I've ever gone on in my entire life. Because have you ever thought about all of those people you see walking the streets on Twitch and YouTube, like Andy Milanakis, Kai Sanat, or even iShow Speed, and how they actually get their broadcasts to your eyeballs? Twitch and YouTube have integrated streaming setups in their mobile app, but trust me when I say that does not cut it in a lot of situations, especially when you're not staying in one place. You'll lose video quality, connection to your your cell carrier dips in and out, and what happens when your phone dies? When you see the pros going IRL, they more than likely have a much more sophisticated system in place to get them the most uptime while not compromising on quality, like the sponsor of today's video and the company that's been providing us with our IRL system for the last few months, Unlimited IRL. And I'm kind of in a unique situation to talk about this. I have fully live streamed multiple coast to coast drives across the US and into Canada, and I needed to learn properly how to use things like signal bonding services, Starlink, mobile hotspots, putting them all together. I've live streamed campouts in front of Micro Center for hardware launches. And I've been live 24 seven on Twitch since Christmas Eve, 2022. And I've tried a bunch of different IRL streaming tactics, like using a phone to call into a PC that's streaming, carrying around a laptop with us in the car with a capture card, software services that bind together multiple data connections, having multiple internet routers in the back of my vehicle that are pulling from Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T on these like sketchy third-party companies that sell unlimited data that's meant for like RVs and tablets, but they repurpose it as a regular thing. I've, I've done a lot of stuff to try to get this all figured out. And at the end of the day, I actually ended up just pretty much copying Unlimited IRL's Gun Run IRL Backpack V7. This is what I put together, and this is what Unlimited IRL sells. I'm not joking. This backpack is the most turnkey solution for anyone interested in live streaming on the go, and there's actually a lot of really interesting tech that goes into it as well. So what's in the backpack? We're gonna start off with the encoder. This is the thing that gets your data from where you are to whatever server you're broadcasting to. And that's called the LiveU Solo Pro. It can stream up to 4K 60 resolution at up to 20 megabits per second. It uses HEVC encoding. It can combine up to six different internet connections using LRT. And you can get cellular bonding via USB if you have USB modems. And this kit comes with Y cables to connect up to four at a time along with one Wi-Fi signal and one ethernet signal. It has an internal battery of three hours and it takes 45 watt power delivery via USB-C so you can connect it to a power bank that also comes with the backpack kit. This has been tremendously helpful. We'll talk about the modems in a second, but having that multiple internet option of having different carriers as well as when we do our coast to coast streams, we had a Starlink on the top of my truck and we've been able to connect a Wi-Fi signal to this as well, which allowed us to get really high quality coast to coast driving streams done. But then let's talk about the camera that comes with this kit. It's a Sony ActionCam FDR X3000. This is one of the most baffling pieces of tech because Sony doesn't make these anymore. I don't know why they stopped in 2021, but they are the perfect camera for IRL streaming. They're basically the perfect action cam. And it might not look like much, but it's got amazing stabilization, a really nice built-in stereo microphone, clean HDMI out, which is hard to get, and it's capable of streaming either 1080p 60 or 4K 30. And since they don't make them anymore, Unlimited IRL distributes refurbished ones that they find online. But they even say on their website that it's getting harder every month to get their hands on them. I mean, you can just check this by going on eBay. But to make sure you don't damage your precious little baby, they also have a cam saver, a custom 3D printed protective case with cable clamps, a lens cover, and even a little shoe mount on top in case you wanna add some extras. Next, let's talk about batteries because these are incredibly important when it comes to streaming on the go because this Live View encoder does take a lot of juice to power and you're gonna need some extra juice to keep it going for your longer streams, which is why Unlimited IRL has these Power X1 99 watt hour external batteries. It's 26,800 milliamp hours or 99.16 watt hour capacity. These are pretty much the largest batteries you can legally fly with without prior approval from the airline. And I can honestly attest to that. We took these things all the way from Pennsylvania to Taiwan with absolutely no problem with several layovers. It's got pass through charging and outputs 65 watts via USB which is perfect for keeping the LiveU Solo HD running. And it also has a helpful battery charge level display so you always know how much juice you've got left. The Gunrun V7 comes with one of these bad boys and it's honestly super useful. Now let's talk about the thing that isn't tech but actually makes a huge difference when it comes to your ability to stream on 
the go. And that is what is housing all the things that you are putting your tech into, the backpack itself. This is something that we explored. We bought multiple backpacks off of Amazon. And then at the end of it, we just looked at Unlimited IRL's website and we said, what backpack are they using? And once we bought our own, we were like, oh, no wonder they're using it. It's got big pockets for the battery banks and the LiveView Solar Pro. You need this specifically so the encoder doesn't overheat, which it can definitely do, especially when you're streaming in 98 degree Fahrenheit temperatures in high humidity in Taiwan. And we used a different backpack before we got our hands on this one and we put the encoder in the main pouch and it got spicy. It also has a camera pouch. The pouch at the front looks like a normal school bag, but it's actually a really deep modular storage area with these Velcro flaps that let you organize all your camera accessories, cables, and power banks really easily. And the main pouch has extra room for activities. There's also a laptop sleeve too. The one that you get with the Gunrun V7 kit also comes with these holes that are perfectly placed to cable route everything through the bag. It seems obvious, but before we had a bunch of cables just kind of hanging out the side of ours and then it was a mess and we realized, oh, this is gonna be way easier if we do it. And we've also tried a few different ways to get convenient hands-free POV shots. And this, the shoulder mount is by far the best. I've gone with small tripods, chest mounts, and even different shoulder mounts, but nothing ever quite held in place like the one that comes with this backpack. Our pack also came with a little tripod as well that's nice for when you're taking a break from walking around. You can just pop the camera off your shoulder mount and boink it onto the tripod. But now let's talk about the real magic sauce, the thing that makes it possible to continuously connect to the internet potentially anywhere in the world. And that is the modems. These are called the LiveView Solo Connect. And not only can you do it anywhere in the world, you can also get unlimited data plans for either just Europe or just North America. These things will connect to the biggest cell carriers wherever you are and then dynamically switch between them with the LiveView Solo encoder. And they also come with this nice little 3D printed case. And they just honestly work. We have taken them to multiple countries across the entire world. Most of our streaming is done here locally in Pennsylvania where they connect to T-Mobile or AT&T, but I've been to South Africa with them where they can quickly connect to Vodacom or Cell C. We've also taken them to Taiwan where they instantly, as soon as we boot up the backpack, connect to the major carriers there, as well as in the various different layovers that we've done in other Southeast Asian countries. We've been able to get internet that reliably is connecting, and if there's better signal from another carrier, it can switch over to that in case it doesn't get signal from the one that it's originally connected to. It's actually quite remarkable because the way that I was doing it previously with sketchy little routers, it was a whole difficult solution, whereas these LiveView Solo Connects really solve all of the issue. And then you can add in extra signal. We actually, in our latest charity stream, did it from a local esports arena, which had really thick metal walls. So we actually weren't getting any cellular signal on the unlimited IRL backpack. So we just asked, hey, can we plug in the ethernet? They said yes, and we were able to stream no problem because this can handle so many different connections. I previously made a video right after our first cannonball about how we did that entire live stream. And one of the more recent comments was, why wouldn't you just use the live view setup? And the truth is, I didn't know about it at the time. I did a lot of research to try to find out how I could possibly pull off the coast to coast stream and that never came up in my search. But as soon as I found it, I moved forward with it. And here we are with unlimited IRL today. So let's talk about how this backpack works all together. You've got the camera, which starts being clipped to your shoulder with power and HDMI cables run into the backpack through a few holes cut in the fabric and out to either side of the pouch. One leads to the LiveView Solo Pro, the other leads to a power bank. The LiveView Solo Pro sticks to the side of the bag with this camera mount and also rests in one of the external pouches. A power cable is ran through the holes in the bags over to the power bank. And then there's two Y splitters that plug into the USB ports on the LiveView and run into the bottom compartment of the bag where we have the two modems connected and secured to the back wall. These ones specifically have international cellular data plans and the LiveView Solo knows to dynamically switch to whichever one has a stronger connection at any given moment. You can enter in your stream information from the on-screen menu on the encoder and also set up Wi-Fi connections. And this button lets you go live. They also have a website where you can configure a lot of the things that go on with the LiveView Solo Pro. So in my case, this LiveView Solo Pro broadcasts to a remote server that I have set up that automatically switches to a BRB screen if we ever lose connection, just in case. So that way the stream stays up, even if we somehow are in the middle of Arizona, which is where we lost the most signal, and we're not gonna be back for a couple minutes as we're driving through it. And one of the nice things is that everything here has a battery, but the best practice is to have a backup. So I keep everything constantly plugged into the beefy power bank that I mentioned.
compartment. Plus, I always travel with at least one extra backup that I keep in the bag compartment with the modem. So if this thing stops getting power from the battery bank, it'll last for a little while. It's the same with the LiveView Solo Pro. This thing does chow through battery because it is bonding a lot of signals together. It's also encoding them and then broadcasting it out to the internet. It does a lot of processing. This is a remarkable piece of technology just in one little box, but that comes at a power cost. But I've spent years trying to perfect the best mobile streaming setup, largely in an attempt to help cure my son's rare disease. Those cross-country road trips I mentioned, we call Cannonball for the Cure. It's based off of the Burt Reynolds movie from the 80s, yes, that Cannonball, and we raise money for research, and it's been a huge deal for my son. And we've raised a lot of money, but through a lot of trial and error on the tech side of things to make it all put together in a seamless fashion. When I first had the idea for the Cannonball in late 2020, I really didn't know what I was doing, and I still pulled a, some semblance of one off in 2021 without all of this. And then we found out about unlimited IRL and this entire live use situation in 2022, and we've not looked back since. This has been great for driving across the entire country, walking around LTX, going to the top of the Taipei 101 in Taiwan to just get some views and share them with our audience. We've been able to bring new experiences to our viewers through something like the Unlimited IRL backpack. And we've come to realize that Unlimited IRL has the best solution for mobile streaming, which is something I've been constantly looking for as part of all of this fundraising effort, as well as just our trips to Taiwan. And pairing it with the Starlink was uh, such an easy thing to do. So big thanks to Unlimited IRL for sponsoring this video, for providing the backpack, allowing us to take it on our adventures, whether that was to Taiwan earlier this year as part of the 2024 charity stream that we did more domestically here. We were able to use this in combination with our beefy cinema camera, the Ronin 4D. All we had to do was get the wireless HDMI signal into the Live View Solo encoder. This was hooked up to the ethernet and we were able to stream the actual charity event via a professional camera with the Live View solo encoder. It can be used with an action cam. It can be used with basically any HDMI input you want. And they also said that there's a firmware update that's coming soon that'll allow you to do wireless RTMP signals into the Live View solo encoder so that you can get a wireless camera way easier than how we had to have the Ronin 4D set up. This is one of those perfect times where I have looked all over the internet, tried to come up with a solution myself and realized that there's a company out there making exactly what I need and then we've been able to work with them directly and they've sponsored this video. So big thanks to Unlimited IRL again. You can check out the Gunrun IRL Backpack V7 at the link in the video description. And we'll see you over on Twitch. We'll see you here on YouTube and wherever we end up next.